Mm-hmm. All right then. Hey, what's cracking? Hold on. Before we start, let's let's set a little bit of a bit of a vibe here. So, it's been a long while since you guys have seen me on this channel. Maybe you guys have forgotten who I am. <laughs> Maybe you don't care. Um, but yeah, I have my reasons. I have my reasons why I haven't been around. And that's kind of what I want to talk about today. Change, right? Rebirth, being reborn creatively. And that's exactly kind of the journey I'm going through now as an individual here. And not all of it is out of my own will. <laughs> Some of it may be forced upon us and that's what happens, right? That's the thing with change, right? We either initiate it or we get controlled by it or we have to accept it. Do you know what I mean? And that's what happened for me. Long story short, I've been very unwell the last few months, you know? So I haven't been going out, which means I ain't been able to make videos. Um, yeah, so I've kind of had to find or refine myself inside my own home. You know what I mean? Not to mention there's other things going on, family things, which means it makes sense for me to be at home more. I'm not going to talk about that right now. But yeah, we all have these things that happen that make us change. So being at home has meant that I've had more time on my hands to think mentally, right? Even though I've been trying to recover from what's going on. Thankfully, your boys are all right now. But so, you know, I'm recovering. I'm doing all right. So I'm still on the up. But it got me thinking and it got me realizing the things that I enjoy doing the most, right? I mean, I love doing photography. Uh, I like doing video even more than I like doing photography. That's something new that I found for myself. Um, but what I really stumbled across again, which I used to do a lot when I was younger, is make music. I realized more and more I started making music. I realized the peace, the tranquility, the, the calmness it gave me, right? Because I've been stressed the last couple of weeks and making music was just like my turning point you know it's so so nice it was my getaway it was my way to just turn and just just go to a world that no one else can take me to you know what i mean and i feel like photography wasn't doing that for me recently especially like trying to make photography videos here on youtube you're always trying to chase this balance between creativity and enjoyment right it's always this thing when you're when you're making videos on youtube that's the always the biggest struggle or the biggest thing is just trying to balance creativity and enjoyment and i feel like the creativity side of my photography was just going down and down and down plummeting because all i was caring about is trying to bang out a video can i do this review can i get out there to this location quick enough at this certain time of day you know what i mean and it was taking over the fact that why can't i just go with my camera and enjoy taking photos and not show nobody how i used to like I'll go out there and I'll try and take a photo that to me was just substandard. Not high level, not great, didn't really have no emotion, no story behind it, but I took it for the sake that I'm using a different lens or I'm using a, a recipe on the camera and it has to be shown for YouTube. I mean, it all has its place, right? People need to see these things in the world, but if it ain't making you happy, I don't think you should be doing it. And that's basically where, where I am right now. Minus, I finally found something that's making me a bit more happy. I, I'm loving making video. Video for me right now, I feel, I feel like it's taking a, it's taking a, a upward step for me. Video is, is super nice, but unfortunately, I haven't been able to make many videos because I've been kind of lumbered inside or back and forth to hospitals and stuff like that, getting checked out. Um, so what I've been thinking is how can I make video locally, like really locally inside my own home? And, that's what I've been trying to do recently. So I've been sat down, I've been I've been testing the black magic out properly. I've been testing out loads of different lenses, old vintage lenses I've never even heard of on this thing. And I've just been finding some enjoyment about it. But yeah, before I waffle on and go off on a mad one, this is my new book, right? Well, it's not a new book. I've had this for, since last year. The start of this book was loads and loads of video ideas, inspirational short little films that I wanted to put out there, say last year, right? 2021. Problem is, is every single time I thought, I'm going to make an inspirational video today and just make people feel a bit better about their day. I never put it out there. Why? Because of fear. I was scared to try something different to what I was already doing. Scared to change. You know what I mean? 
Because sometimes, you know, especially on the internet, social media, people will literally judge you for anything you do different to what you've done before. Fortunately, my channel is still so small, right? So I think I have an opportunity here to, to show more aspects about myself. And I feel like there's no point even creating online, especially on YouTube, if you're not showing yourself. What's the point, right? I mean, there's more to me than just making sample videos or review videos about lenses and stuff like that. I do so much more behind the scenes, so why am I not showing that? I'm a father, you know, I have a family life. Why am I not showing those videos on there? Why am I not creating more just video? Why am I not making musical stuff that I enjoy doing? Why? Because of fear of, of changing and getting those bad comments and people saying, you know, why are you doing that for? You're a photographer, or <laughs> labeling you, right? Putting you in a box that really we don't belong in. Because the creatives, as creative people, you know, we always just change our minds every two minutes. One minute you want to be doing this, one minute you want to be doing that. I mean, nothing wrong with it. That's the whole point of being human, right? Learning, changing, adapting, moving around. Ah, that's just what we do. So the start of this book um, had a lot of inspirational things in there, which I never achieved to do, which I'd like to bring back for you guys. Because I feel like if anything I can offer now from being on YouTube for, what, four years? The struggle, four or five years, the struggle of being on YouTube. Uh, I've learned a few things. I don't have a massive channel, right? But I'm still, I've still made a lot of videos. If you look at my video count to some others, there's people out there with say 200, 300,000 followers and they've got 60 videos. Uh, I'm not letting those numbers or anything like cloud my mind because it's just not the way it works, right? But um, I don't know, I know how many videos I got, maybe 100, 6,000 followers or so like that. But the numbers don't really mean nothing. Just what I'm trying to say here is obviously people will look at that from an outside aspect and just say, okay, this guy's a small creator, he's struggling, struggling. Do you know what I mean? Struggling. Um, so I feel like I've learned some things that I can show you guys and why not put those into videos? The struggles of a small creator. I don't think it's struggling. I mean, it's just, you're doing your thing, you just not know it's Jip. It doesn't mean you're doing anything bad. It doesn't mean what you're putting out there is trash. Um, it just so happens that one day you may get noticed. That's all it is. You know what I mean? Just keep working, keep doing your thing. As long as you're enjoying it, if you're not doing it like it's a chore. And for me, I would say my last 20 videos on my channel have been a chore. You know what I mean? I haven't really, I ain't enjoyed them. I've just done them because I've had to do them. And I want to change, I want to change that. I want it to be more pure, more real, more realistic on what I want to do. Anyway, this video, I don't want it to be super long. This video is about re rebirth. Not Rebirth Island. We all love Rebirth Island. But it's all about rebirth, right? Creating something new from what you already have. So in my terms, I forcefully had to change what I'm doing. Health forced me to do so. But what I'm going to be doing on this channel is showing you guys a lot more. I'm going to be teaching you guys or demonstrating or giving a bit of my wisdom that I've learned over the years. Being on YouTube as a creative. Being a creative in general. Filmmaking, photography and music. You're putting, I don't know if you can see the keyboard here, but um, but yeah, I'm getting really big onto doing music. So I'd like to make some, I think I made one um, where I, start, I tried to start a series about a year or two back. Uh, it flopped and then I was really devastated with the numbers and I was like, I'm not doing that no more. But I really, I should have just carried on because I really enjoyed it. I literally sat down and I watched it the other day and I was like, you know what? I can see the smile inside my heart. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I was smiling. I loved it. And I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying it. I, I'm waking up in the mornings now. I'm playing some some keyboard before I go to work and I'm just like, oh. it's peaceful. It's keeping me calm, it's keeping me grounded, it's keeping me happy and I feel no pressure. Like right now I feel no pressure. Even making this video, I'm waffling, I'm talking, I feel no pressure. The only pressure I'm feeling is like I'm talking too much and you guys are getting bored. But um, but yeah, change, rebirth, it's, it's, it's important. If you feel like you're getting stale in life, you know what, just take a step back completely. A complete step back. Lock off social media. Social media is probably the worst for clouding the mind, right? But if you put yourself in a situation where you feel comfortable to, say if you're a YouTube content creator, just don't make a video for two weeks. It's hard, right? Because you have to be consistent. Don't make a video for two weeks. Put your camera away and do something else completely. Force yourself to change, right? I don't know, start gardening or something. I've been growing some plants recently. I don't know if you can see this. I've been enjoying growing new plant life. I've got some lemons and some limes going there. I've got some coriander, some scotch bonnet. And yeah, I've just been doing things outside of what I normally do. 
just to learn something new. And I think that might help you if you just completely change up. I don't know. If you're the same as me, you do photography, you do video like a lot of people do here on YouTube, maybe just stop completely. Become a little gardener for a little bit. You know what I mean? Start writing poems. Start writing down in a journal. I mean, that this is the biggest help for me. And just do something completely opposite. And I guarantee when you come back to it, you'll have a whole different way of thinking about it. If not, you may have come to a realization that, you know what? I really do like doing video or I actually really don't like making these kind of videos and I need to work out how to make something else. So change, rebirth, it's all important. And it, it's, it sounds harder than it actually is. All you need to do is just switch off everything, go back to stone age for a little bit and things will change beautifully. So yeah, as a recap, what's going on with this channel, I'm going to make a lot more content about helping other creators. I think it's just, why not? Easy talking to the camera, no pressure on me. If I can share my knowledge and it helps you guys out, why not? I'm still gonna talk about video lenses and stuff like that. But um, yeah, I'm not gonna go so hard on that. It's gonna be more so about more advice and things, stuff like that. But one thing I will be enjoying is just being myself on this channel and introducing you guys to every aspect of my personality. And if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. Um, but you're welcome to stay on the journey. And thank you for sticking around for this big absence that I've had on YouTube. All right then, enough waffling. Um, we'll catch up in the next video. Peace. I didn't even drink my tea, look at that. I made a fresh cup of tea and I'm drinking that. Oh. <laughs>